Aoife McArdle. I'm a first year Applied Languages and Translation Studies uh, student. My name is Cuevin Nibailagan. I'm 20 years of age and I'm an Economics, Politics and Law student in second year. My name is Carmel Kenny and I'm from Mullingar County Westmead and I'm a first year in Communications. Well, I'm already a class rep, so I've gone to loads of class rep meetings, I've gone to all those. I've uh, voted on many issues, I've brought forward issues to board, like board meetings and to my, uh, the head of the school and everything like that. Like, if something was affecting my course I'd, or my class, I'd bring it up. I am friends with so many people on so many different courses. So I hear all their stories and all their problems. The things I have learned over the past two years in DCU is the pure love I have for the college, the pure love I have for the students and the courses that are in the humanities faculty. Like the course is one aspect, but there's so much more to college life. The humanities faculty rep needs to be an approachable person, a person who can deal with a range of issues across the board. And I've had a whole rounded education, a whole rounded experience in college life in DCU so far. And that's what I want to instill in people and make them uh, passionate about and make them comfortable about coming to me. Well, I have previous experience working with Coral and Oak and Dahl and Oak because I represented County Westmead under Dahl and Oak, which is the Youth Council of Ireland. So basically that was um, taking like, issues, say, in certain parts around the country of, from young people and kind of dealing with them and bringing in new ma like, amendments and changes and say so that we work in, like, say, with politicians and the government to bring in these changes to help young people. So that's one of my, my main, probably, previous experience. I've also done a lot um, with Concern Debate, and I was captain of the Concern Debate team, and I've done a lot of public speaking on various issues. After meeting Joe, and he, like, he made the humanities class reps like, more intimate, more like we knew each other so much better, and I just loved the way he did that, and also seeing like, how much passion and dedication he went into his work and made we, me want to put all that passion and dedication in and like how passionate and like a live class rep council is and everything like that and how we get to vote on so many issues and how we get to discuss our faculties is like so great and I, I love that. From first year I've always wanted to run for the humanities faculty rep position from seeing Pather to seeing Joe and just how much they have brought to the role and, much, and how much they have helped the college as a whole in the work they've done and I want to continue on that great work. There's no point letting the work an effort that these two people have done in the past two years since I've been in college go to waste. It only the only way from here is up. Um, well basically I kinda I seen the good work, the amazing work actually that Jordan had done with the humanities faculty and I was like, you know what, that's something that I really like to do because I've background, you know what I mean, in it and kind of just one evening I was sitting there and I seen it coming up and I was like, Great, I'll look into this and I did and I was like, Do you know what, I'll go for it just because I'd seen what Jordan do and I want to continue on his work and I want to make improvements as well because I've been talking to a lot of students and I've been picking up on issues, do you know what I mean, that they have with the humanities faculty and the social sciences. So I thought, right, I'll go for this and see what I can bring. Everybody who knows me knows I'm incredibly determined and ambitious and I love solving problems. So like if someone came to me with an issue, it is like, my passion to like fix that issue and make them happy and make and like I'm kind of a perfectionist as well so I love when things are as like brilliant as they could possibly be so I like I know that if I was the humanities and social sciences faculty rep I would like bring this faculty to the greatest I can possibly make it. I've had a lot of life experience uh, from growing up in a really disadvantaged area to come into college now where I've literally immersed myself in the college community all I know is DCU, all I know is about getting involved, all I know is how to bring out the best in people and that's what I really really offer to this position. Also coming from economics, politics and law which is a really tough tough course and being involved with the school in law government, school of law and government, it's a really interesting way to look at the whole faculty of humanities. Well, I have do you know all that previous experience but I do you know what I mean I'm hard working and once I put my mind to something I'm set for it and I'm not doing this for more for person I'm not doing it for personal gain I'm doing it for the students I want to be a voice that will represent the students do you know so I'm you know I'm, I'm hard working I'm loyal and I listen as well and that's kind of well, hopefully it'll set me apart from everybody else